today's project diary, I will teach you how to grow cucumbers from seed. Hi and welcome to Project Diaries. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to grow cucumbers from seed. Now I will apologise in advance, a lot of you may know that I'm trying to get a new computer at the moment. Um, so if you hear a buzzing or a humming on my narrations of this video, I apologise. Um, if you would like to help me get a new computer and donate, there's a link on the screen now. It's at PayPal me forward slash Project Diaries and that would be so good if you could help me out. Uh, thank you in advance. But today's video, uh, I just want to point out one little thing that is really starting to annoy me. We buy a lot of fresh produce in our shops and they become, they come wrapped in plastic and in more plastic. I mean this is the freshest thing you can get and it, all it is is just completely wrapped in plastic and chemicals that is just completely harmful to the environment and harmful to our health. Uh, so if you are going to buy uh, fresh produce, make sure it is fresh and not wrapped. Just tell your shop owners that you don't want to buy it like this because it really will help the, uh, the planet as a whole. Um, but usually I would um, harvest these seeds from any kind of fruit or vegetables that I'm growing previously but the ones we get in England, I don't know if you can see, I can't actually harvest any seeds from these so I will have to buy some. Um, I will leave some links uh, in the description box for like, below if you want um, any of those online. Obviously I don't sell any of these, I'm just helping you guys out if you need any equipment or seeds from this video. Um, but anyway, I've, I've managed to get some online and I'm going to teach you how to grow cucumbers from seed and here's how to do it. So as I said, you can easily get hold of these seeds online and today I'm growing Market More variety. Now as usual, you don't need any fancy trays, so I'm just using a regular seed pod here and I'm using multi-purpose compost. You want to bury the seeds between two and three times their own depth and as I don't want to be overrun by cucumbers, I'm only planting four today. Now cucumbers do need a lot of warmth and sunlight so you don't want to plant these too early in the season. Now depending on variety, just check the back of your seed packet to see that you're sowing them in the correct season. A majority would be around mid to late spring when the temperatures start to increase between 60 and 68 degrees Fahrenheit. You can also start these in early spring indoors just as long as you don't have any frost. Once you've planted the seeds at the correct depth, just backfill the soil in and then water gently. Now I'm not using any fancy fertilizers, this green water is just rainwater. Don't forget to label them up and once you're finished, leave this tray in somewhere sunny and warm for the next few weeks. Here they are just five days in and as you can see, one has germinated and pushed through already. Here they are again after two weeks and as you can see two are really successful and pushed through and the others are slightly slower but I'll give them a bit more time and they'll push through as well. So now two of these are big enough I'm going to transplant these into larger pots and allow these other two to push through and become a lot more healthier. If your germination rate is slow just be patient and try to keep them as warm as possible. So to transplant them I'm just going to use an old yoghurt pot that I've already pushed holes in for drainage. And again, I'm just using simple multi-purpose compost to transplant them in. So I'm going to transplant this one first. So I'm just going to use the back of a spoon to dig a small hole into the pot. And this is how I'm going to transplant it. If there are any little bits and pieces in the compost, you just want to break those down and allow the root system to grow a bit better. I have found that buying cheaper compost may contain lots of larger pieces and bark. So you want to remove any of these larger pieces before you start this project. So I'm using a spoon down the side of the pod to prise out the seedling gently. Now you really don't want to pull on the leaves or the stem because it will damage it at this stage. And as you can see there's already a really nice root system forming. Just place the seedling in the centre of the pot and then backfill gently. You want to firm the soil down just so the seedling can stand up by itself but you don't want to push it down too hard that the roots won't grow. Again taking out larger chunks if you see them. Then just backfill the soil if it's needed but you don't want to bury this seedling any more than where it was originally so try and keep that soil line to a minimum. Again push the soil down to give the seedling more stability but don't push it too firmly. Now if you have the right temperature there's no problem you putting these straight outside you won't need to transplant them at all but as I tend to have a slug issue every year I like these plants to build a little bit more strength and have a lot more stability before transplanting them outside. Now watering can be tricky but you want to make sure the soil remains to be moist but not too dry or too soaked. Allowing the seedling to sit in too much water could rot the roots. Then just leave them somewhere that gets lots of warmth and sunlight. Here they are exactly one month after sowing the seeds. 
and they should look something like this after six weeks. Now there's lots of different varieties of cucumber that you can grow but there's mainly two different types. The indoor variety which are the longer ones you mainly see in supermarkets, these are grown in greenhouses. Or the ridge variety which is shorter, thicker skinned and grown outside. But if you're lucky enough to be in a country that has really good weather, it really doesn't matter which variety you grow. But if you're in a cooler country like I am in England and you want to grow outdoor varieties, you'll need to harden them off. Now if you're not familiar with the term hardening off, it can sound really technical, but it's actually not at all. It's just an easy system to allow the plant to get used to the temperature changes and stop it from going into shock. You just allow the plant to be outside for one hour on the first day, two hours on the second day, three hours on the third day and so on. Do that for a week and your plant is ready to plant out. So I'm extremely happy about how these are growing. They're growing really fast and really healthy. They have had a bit of green fly problems but that seems to have gone now. I put them outside to harden them off. Um, so basically these are now ready to plant on. You can grow these in containers but you will need a trellis or something for them to grow up because otherwise they just grow all over the floor uh, and they probably won't produce that, that good of uh, cucumbers. But today I'm putting these in my square foot garden. Now it's recommended you put two plants per 12 inches, so that's one square for two plants. Uh, and I'm gonna grow them up the trellis that I, I made a few weeks ago. So here's how to pot them on. So I'm gonna plant these in the top end of my bed, which is where the trellis is. The reason why you don't trellis at the front of your bed is because when all the plants start growing it will then shade the rest of the bed and stop sunlight getting on all of your other plants. Now cucumbers are really heavy feeders so you want to put these into a really good growing medium at this point. I'm using homemade compost but if you want to boost your soil with natural resources check out this link here. So I'm delicately placing the plant between my fingers, squeezing the base of the pot and allowing it to remove itself gently. Then just pinch out some of the roots, this will allow it to grow into the new soil. Your soil needs to be a minimum 6 to 10 inches deep and again you don't want to bury this plant any higher than its original pot soil level. You also want to make sure it's planted directly below your trellis. Push the soil back in gently and again don't press it too hard, you just want to make sure it's stable and this would allow it to grow up the trellis and become a lot more sturdy. Then just do exactly the same process with your second plant. So hopefully by the time you plant these outside your outdoor temperature is roughly between 60 and 68 degrees Fahrenheit which is the optimum temperature for growing cucumbers throughout their season. You may need to give these a really good watering daily, but again, make sure the soil is really well drained and not overwatered or too dry. And at this stage and throughout its growing season, it will need a plant feed or fertilizer at least twice a month. Whichever fertilizer you choose to use, you wanna make sure the N in the NPK is half of what it is for the others. Now these numbers can vary according to which fertilizer you decide to get, but for cucumbers, you want to make sure the N for nitrogen is half the value to all the other numbers. Adding too much nitrogen at this point will just promote more green leaves and no fruit. Once you've transplanted both of your plants, you want to give them a really good soak in. Now you also want to try not to get any of the foliage wet. Now to reduce the chance of these plants getting any diseases, you always need to water from the base and not from the top of the plant or foliage. But I will go into more detail about diseases and treatments later on in the video. So what I've also done here is I've left a couple of plants in the shed. Um, the other ones um, are obviously going to grow up the trellis. And um, because of bad weather, I've just thought I'd keep a few of these by just in case the other ones don't survive. But as you can see, these ones are 10 weeks in and they're starting to grow really nice and long and they're also starting to flower. So I'm just going to give you a close up. Now outdoor varieties will grow both male and female flowers that can be pollinated by insects throughout the year. And there are some indoor varieties that just grow female flowers, but you really need to make sure which variety you get in before you start growing. As some ridge varieties can also be grown inside greenhouses, but if you cross-pollinate the wrong varieties, your fruit may end up being really bitter. Now the other important thing about this plant is these stringy curly things. These are called tendrils. These grow naturally on the plant and really help when you're growing up a trellis. These will vine out and curl around your trellis to allow the plant to have more stability. Now at the beginning your plant may seem to just be growing male flowers but this is just to attract the pollinators at the start. You can tell the difference between the flowers because the male will have a short thin stem and the female will have a slight bulbous base which will eventually turn into a cucumber. Here are my plants a few weeks after transplanting them outside and as you can see they're flowering and I'm just going to go over here. You can see the cucumbers starting to form and they've been pollinated really well. If you'd like to learn more about beneficial insects, check out my video link here.
Now depending on the variety that you're growing, your plant will take between 50 and 75 days to produce a fully mature fruit. But this can be delayed due to the fact of not getting enough sunlight, overwatering, or diseases like these. You want to check your plant's health on a regular basis and look out for any white marks like these. This is how a disease called powdery white mildew starts attacking your plant. If left untreated, this can spread all across your leaves and throughout your crop. But there's no need to worry, I've already done a tutorial on how to treat this, so check out the link on the screen now. The other disease is downy mildew, which can spread and be treated in exactly the same way as powdery white mildew. But if you don't catch it soon enough, it can spread into your crop and spoil your hard earned harvest. The other thing you want to look out for is a pest called a cucumber beetle. Now these are the same beetle, but they can have two different characteristics. The one on the left is a spotted cucumber beetle that has 12 dark patches on its back. And the other one is a stripy cucumber beetle. This is identified by three dark stripes on its back. So there you go, that's my video on how to grow cucumbers from seed. If you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again next time. If you'd like to keep up to date on all of my future releases, click the subscribe button here. Here are some links to some of my other videos. And if you tried this or any other project, I'd love to see your progress, so please join my Facebook gardening group where thousands of people are sharing photos and ideas daily. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.